Ooh. So in this video, I'm talking about how to recover quicker. Now, obviously the fitter you are, the faster you're going to recover. But there are a few things that everyone can do to recover quicker. So first of all, being aware and actually focusing on recovery is gonna give you an advantage right away. What do most players do? When they get like this, they get tired, they get out of breath. They start panning. Hands might go down in the knees. They just let the breath overtake them. They lose focus of what's going on on the field. Their body language is poor. They're on their heels. They're not ready to react. Okay, so all these things are going wrong. And yes, you're out of breath, but it's actually affecting your ability to perform and do your job. So what you wanna do instead is first of all, be aware of your breath. Try to calm it down, try to slow it down. In through your nose, out through your nose, nose breathing. You don't wanna have super deep breaths, you wanna have calm and controlled breaths. Now handling your breathing is one thing, but guess what? You can't take all this time to just focus on your breath. You still have to play the game. So while you're recovering, first of all, get yourself back into position. Don't walk or don't jog back into your defensive space. If you know you should be there, get there first. Now you're set in position. Focus on breathing, but I'm also doing my job for the team. I'm in the right position. I'm focused on the play. I'm aware of my surroundings. I know where the ball is, where the opponents are, where my teammates are, where the space is, where the danger is, where the opportunities are. I'm aware. Okay, so breathing, staying alert, focus, stand up straight. Yes, you want to be ready to go. You want to be in your athletic stance on your toes because even though you're tired, the game doesn't stop. Even though you're gassed, you still may have to defend someone. You still may have to support the player, get forward to attack. So even though you're tired, you have to keep going. So stay focused, control your breath, good body language up, up uh, straight. Again, if you're standing up straight, you're gonna get more oxygen into your lungs as opposed to down here. Your body's compressed here, make yourself nice and big. Stand up straight. Focus. Okay, and get yourself in the habit of still playing when you're tired. As I said, the game doesn't stop when you get tired. You have to keep going. So even though you're tired, focus on and ask yourself, where should I be right now? What should I be doing? If you have the ball, focus on your quality and composure because when you get tired, it's so easy to have sloppy touches, to make mistakes and give the ball away. So focus on your recovery, breathing, body language, awareness, still focusing on the game, being ready to go at any moment but bringing your heart rate back down to resting rate or as much as you can. So you can go for another sprint, you can keep going. Also, I want you to focus on this right here, the mental aspect, your mental fitness. So even though you're tired, when you get tired, so many players say, oh man, I'm so tired. Oh, I'm just gonna rest for a bit. Oh, no, I'm not gonna track that guy, someone else will get him. Okay, you need to talk positively to yourself in your mind. You need to say, I'm tired, but I'm gonna keep going. I can do this, I can push through the pain. I can handle this, I'm better than this, I'm a beast. I won't stop, I'm unstoppable. Talk to yourself like that in your mind and you'll be able to push through the pain.